hello and welcome to XCOM Chimera Squad. Oh boy, it's been a while and XCOM is kinda awesome. When when they released the first new XCOMs, the XCOM 1, whatever, I was I was into it, but I, I kinda found it a little vanilla and it was really not measuring up to the good olds, like the, even the old XCOMs or Jagged Aliens, it, it just didn't have the strategic depth. It was an awesome game, but didn't have it. But they just kept amp uh, just ramping it up, and yeah, we're definitely there, and this is just a different take on it, and I love it. Of course, we're gonna play on Impossible. Uh, I just like, come on, joke. Uh, they say that a normal is challenging, but come on. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna have any of that. A shop a show subtitles, uh, we're gonna have that and no healing, obviously. We're never gonna get hit. Uh, we know pusses here. Impossible. Brutal challenge, only for the bravest players. <clears throat> of course, let's go. Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. I did. The city council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the reclamation agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Oh, we're gonna earn our keep. Oh, fuck. Well, I gotta choose my squad? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm not ready for this! <laughs> oh my god, game. Oh, that's the default? Cherub, Terminal, Verge, and Godmother? Oh, man. Should we go with the default, though? Maybe that would be a little lame. I don't know, I kinda, kinda like it. Because I just don't know too much about these people. Cherub? Other than the rocking the the actually the rock uh, look with the bald haircut, I mean there's not much to know. I mean I I'm supposed to just read all of that. <clears throat> so he is good at protecting. I rather just you know I actually just recently found out uh, this about myself somewhat recently that I just really 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 like to learn as I as I just do stuff. So. Uh, reading all this up front doesn't seem particularly... F so she got a healer here. Uh, we got the stats over here and uh, we got the abilities over here. And this is actually a pretty interesting uh, approach because I, I did see like a brief video about this game and and you have uh, soldiers with like very distinctive personalities and very distinctive abilities. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty good approach uh, to have that because uh, XCOM, even XCOM 2, uh, Add more generic approach to soldiers, and I'm I'm definitely on board with this. <clears throat> Blue blood, Claymore, Verge. Do we want two baldies on the team? Is it just random? Is it random? Is the team I get random, or is it is it based on? Uh, I don't fucking know. You know what? I like these guys. The only only. Problem is that we don't have a have a snake. Oh my god, so many baldies on the team. No, no, no. We're gonna take two baldies. Uh, one, uh, I don't know. E, e, e girl and uh, and her. Whatever. I, I'm kind of tempted to take the snake just for diversity. Also, we got like a fish fish guy here. Uh, you can smash. Never mind. I, I'm good now. And we got some shotgunner. Yeah, this is good. Let's go. Uh, oh fuck. Oh, wait, what? Uh, this is the recommended? Oh, view meta content? Ah, uh, the fuck? You have encountered the following XCOM Chimera Squad content across all your campaigns. What? Okay. So this is, I suppose, recommended. Okay, let's take Baldi. So, yeah, we gotta choose here. You know what? Let's just go with the recommended. You know, I know nothing about the game, I suppose. That's that's gonna be fine. And we're gonna learn about it. We got a protector here, we got a healer. I actually quite like these support abilities myself. I, I really appreciate that. We got a shotgunner, and we got some kind of mind controller here. Yeah, let's go. I'm good. Chimera Squad, heads up. Director's on the line from XCOM HQ. Chimera Squad, 
I know you're still settling in, but this cannot wait. A short time ago, insurgents crashed the opening of City 31's Memorial Museum. They took Mayor Nightingale hostage. 3-1 PD attempted a rescue, but the insurgents triggered a plasma bomb. Everyone inside was lost. No way. Yes, 3-1 PD should have requested our help, but dwelling on that is counterproductive. Yeah, I we like that. We need to focus on what we do next. Yeah, fuck a the past. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. What? Oh, I, I guess I'm choosing the nest inv investigation. Okay. <clears throat> the progeny. A loose network of human psions. Their visions, vision for uh, City 31's future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. Oh, they, oh, these are gonna be extremist groups, right? It's like, wow, okay. I mean, I would be totally on board with human psions, but like, why do you have to make everybody a psion? That doesn't make sense. The gay phoenix. <laughs> We're gonna have like top-notch hum uh, humor here, guys. Uh, an organization of alien scavengers. They have uh, quietly amassed the kind of weaponry Reclamation is uh, mandated to recover. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> and the sacred coil. An underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. <laughs> I don't know. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? I think the gay phoenix did it. Gray Phoenix is a group of primarily muton scavengers operating in the city. Recently, they've armed themselves with highly restricted weaponry. That puts them on our radar. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 3-1 PD's jurisdiction? True. A reclamation agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous <clears throat> material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, wow. we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, a dangerous organization is off the streets. Exactly. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. So you guys, we're just doing jack shit. And I show up, four-man squads, you know, two of us didn't even ha don't even have hairs, whatever, hair, and, and you, and it's our job to uh, just get rid of all crime in the city. That's what you're saying, right? Investigate the gay phoenix. We need to know more about the gay phoenix before we can proceed with our investigation. Whatever, mate. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Okay. Am I supposed to go back? Okay. <clears throat> city map, assembly. Cine Anarchy, Illyrium, Intel, and Credits. Uh, okay, so I'm, sup I'm supposed check to check. It out. Headquarters sent us an assembly. And with the right patterns, we can build anything. Or <laughs> we could with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 2038 model. It'll take time to stress test our patterns, but once we have them, we're good to go. Thanks. Uh, construct the Android OPS hub. This network allows us to use Androids on tactical missions and enables new assembly projects. Okay. Uh, but I guess we. Uh, this takes two turns. We gotta do this. And we don't have access to anything else. It costs us uh, 10 lightning. Welcome to City 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Huh. Until tonight. We really? don't know that. Not yet. But we can find out. I think this is a pretty good indication that humanity lost the war because... 
I'm not exactly like that myself, but humans would really want retribution uh, upon the aliens. Imagine like aliens showed up here, they waged war upon us, and like humans were like, everyone just called kids. It's like, hey, let's just be friends. No, aliens would be murdered nonstop. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, I'm supposed to investigate the gay phoenix in the right corner. <clears throat> Don't worry, game. I got this under control. This is not a problem. Critical mission. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get 35 bucks for this. Say a hostile force has access to a dangerous device, but destroying okay. it would cause harm to you or others. In that case, finesse is what? the better option. Approach the device and disable it just as you were trained. So we have one breaching charge. And uh, fuck all other than that. Okay. Okay. Uh, this guy has a pistol. Maybe he should have the breaching charge. No, 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 actually go back. Uh, you, you take it out and you put it in. Okay. I'm ready to go. Vroom, vroom. Uh, breach throwables like the... F uh, thanks for the A tips, game. A short while ago, Gray Phoenix engaged unknown assailants at this location. After the shooting stopped, Gray Phoenix locked down the whole block. Would you say our arrival is key? What the fuck? Why did I ever teach you puns? Because you're very... instructive. Kill me now. No, we gotta get this guy killed. Alright. <clears throat> oh shit, surprise. <clears throat> okay, new mechanic. I'd rather just cheat, uh, show you as, as, as we play. Not like I know too much. So basically I'm gonna learn it and show it at the same time. Successful shots on enemies during a breach was done. So uh, they get pushed back. I know that. Uh, a little bit in the, in the turn order. Entering uh, through... Here marks your units until the end of the encounter. So I guess we gotta they gotta know. Uh, I did the tutorial though, so I know that much. So I know that this guy has a, a pathetic pistol that does no damage. So we're gonna so this is gonna define the turn order, and uh, for that reason, we wanna like I think front load. So this is gonna be the turn. I kind of think of it like a little bit like Darkest Dungeon, I suppose. I'm just trying to bring up a game that's a little bit popular, but it's gonna be obvious. All right, let's go. And we're gonna have free encounters. Let's fucking it's go. go time. Woo! Hey, snake. What's up? Surprise snake. What we? What else we got here? Another surprise snake. Uh, the fuck is that? Uh, I don't know. Hey. Another uh, fish, and uh, another fat fish, and another fat fish. Okay, so we got. So they all surprised. That's that's good, and we're gonna deal three to five damage. So we have a chance, a uh, one out of three chance that we kill the snake, with one percent uh, hit chance. Uh, pff, I don't know. We, maybe we wanna start on the guy in the back because. Uh, we actually have We actually have uh, a weapon that's uh, good at longer ranges uh, Let's go with breach fire. Okay, let's go. Oh Snake is dead. Okay. Now. This is a shotgun. This is what I was talking about uh, Although actually we don't have a chance to uh, to kill uh, one of the fed fishes in the back and like this uh, four to six damage and a 5 and a 6 is gonna be lethal. So this is pretty good. And now we are in a little bit of trouble. So what are we using? It's it's unclear. And it might seem like, oh, I can turn on details. But no, actually this is the details mode. <laughs> so I would like a lot more details than that. Cover rush. Okay. Uh, a breach fire. Uh... Well, the thing is, we just want to maximize the hit chance here, I suppose. Uh, let's let's take the shot. Okay, that guy is wounded, and now we have another shot. 
Uh, we most likely want to finish off the guy who's already wounded. And we actually dealing 3 to 4 damage. Actually, I fucked up a little bit because our, our shots stun as well. I'm not saying we definitely fucked up, but possibly fucked up. Now, we have the turn order. This guy, the Legionnaire, is gonna come pretty damn soon. And actually, I, I, I fucked up again, because we have a, a healer coming uh, first. Uh, that should not be the case. Okay. Legionnaire. So this guy's not a problem, I think. That's gonna be fine. Uh, that's a pretty bad shot, but actually we are, have a uh, high cover. So... Uh, we can just check what, what things do. Uh, this doesn't automatically end the turn, so I think we might just safeguard ourselves. Oh, we can only use it on teammates? Okay. So there's a... If someone is gonna get hit, it's probably Godmother. Uh, I mean, Godmother. Let's, let's safeguard Godmother. So Terminal is a healer. Alright, wait, what? Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, and now we're gonna hit the Legionnaire guy. Hey, fish. I don't have any pawns for this. Oh no, he's coming. He's looking at the... the oh, he's demolishing? Um... I'm not sure what that demolishing was about. Okay, we can also capture people. Uh, this deals, uh, I believe, 2 to 3 damage. Okay. So now we have a shotgun. And we wanna... Well, we basically have two actions. Uh, well, actually, we have two... Ooh, how should I explain this? Two action points. But only one of them. One one action to shoot. If he, if he shoot, that just end, ends the game. Basically, we have two actions, but uh, if you if you shoot first, then that just ends your turn. Uh, we want to close in this guy. We have this uh, special move, move team up. Allow someone to move up uh, in the turn order. But uh, we have uh, three encounters here that we need to win. So maybe we don't want to do it uh, right away. We have a, uh, yeah, extra crit chance for flanking. No! This is gonna be bad. Okay, we got this guy. He can go for stupor. Wait. Okay. Stun a target for one to two actions and add them to the neural network. So this is just stun. Your mind falls away. Okay. Can I take a shot? I can take a shot on the same guy. And that was one action. That that didn't end my turn, but it was still one action. Uh, well, I can take a shot at the guy. Yeah. I mean... Wait. Isn't he supposed to be stunned? I guess he got over it. Damn quick. So we got charge bash. This is which is uh kind of a subdue. Okay. I guess we don't have a guaranteed way to kill the legionnaire because we deal three to four damage. And that would most likely deal three damage. Actually he has two armor on, it seems like it. Alright. Um I'm not sure how we can take a shot at this other guy so easily from here. Uh, but fine. So, the plan is just to move in a little bit closer. Actually, we can just run in with a charge bash. And that, that's a guaranteed damage. Uh, let's, let's do that. Okay. Thought I had it. So, terminal. Has a an acceptable shot, maybe? But because we deal 3 to 5 damage, I think the best option would be just to move in close. It's it's a risky uh, option, for sure. 
And uh, show this fish. What's up? Oh my god, even this can miss. Oh my god, don't miss though. It, it's not guaranteed that you get him, but I think this was uh, the safer choice. And also here, uh, getting in close is the safe choice. And yeah, this is gonna hit. Oh, he's taking a nap. Wait, what? Snake, what's up with you? Oh, that was just a store clerk? I'm getting clerk? a strong source yeah. of Illyrium in your vicinity. I can't pinpoint a location. There's okay. a ramen bar out back. Maybe Illyrium is their secret ingredient. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, <clears throat> explosive entrance. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. Okay. Um, last unit through this entrance will receive an extra action point. Okay. Okay, okay. So. Uh, we can change the order as well. Let's just... So Terminal is the healer, Godmother is the shotgunner. Okay. Let's just send it every... Maybe Verge first? Oh, okay. Uh, what? Remove Verge? Okay. Uh, d -d 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 Cherub, Verge, and Terminal. Let's play it like that. And she's gonna have two actions. And she starts, and everyone else just does something, I guess. Alright, let's go! Breach, breach. How's this for an entrance? Very nice. Wait, what? That was a pretty, uh... <clears throat> they, they were really close to the explosion. Ooh, breach fire! These are the best shots we can take. Uh, there is a pretty okay chance of killing that snake. Everything else would take two shots, seemingly. The legionnaire, we don't have a crit chance, so there's no 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 chance we're gonna deal extra damage. Uh, okay, shoot. You dice now, snake! Okay. Oh, the hell. Okay, fine. Legionnaire. Adder. So we have the best chance to hit the Legionnaire, and we can probably take him out with two two shots. Uh, three to five. I guess I committed to that. Oh, shut up, Snake. Okay, we got three actions available for the Shotgunner. But does this mean we can shoot twice? Because that would be nice. First up is the Legionnaire. And the problem here is... That even if he... Okay, that's not the best. I would need to take a position where we can shoot the Legionnaire pretty effectively. We got an adder in the back. We need to be close to the legionnaire. All right, let's go there. Shifting. Okay. I'm hoping it's gonna be a crit. No, it's it's super unlikely that we kill him with one one move. All right. Do you have an extra action though? No, we don't. I guess I can't really expect them to miss all the time. <laughs> so, kinetic shield on yourself. That's not good. This snake is next, but we can't kill the snake. We don't deal enough damage. Cannot subdue the snake. 
There's not much point dealing a little bit of damage to the snake either. I'm uh, for sure. I think we want a shield. So you shield yourself. Okay? By shielding himself... I know this because it was in the tutorial. He prevents one source of any damage. Uh, once. Shielded bash. Um... Maybe stay in cover. Uh, let's just shoot the snake. It's a pretty low chance, but hey, we might as well take it. Oh, the snake coming in. What, what now? Okay. Shield lost. We got poisoned. We got an extra charge. We can use that in the subdue. <clears throat> anyway. This is a little unclear. What we do with uh, Stupor, uh, Verge fit silently stuns the target for one to two actions and adds them to the neural network. Cannot target enemies in the neural network. So I suppose one or two actions is just really one or two actions here. Uh, Battle Madness, Verge uh, silently attacks enemies' mind, making them go berserk and attack a nearby target. Adds them to the neural network. Cannot target enemies in the neural network. Okay, how about the Battle Madness, not this. So we have to take a shot at this guy. We, we, we should get closer, then take a shot at the snake, right? We need to get closer. Moving, quickly. Although this snake can't wait. It's, it's a very low priority snake right now. Oh my god, that would be so nice. But the chance of that happening is not the best. We would need to roll a 5. And actually there is a slight crit chance, I suppose. Uh, pushing him back in the turn order would not matter too much either. So I think we're just going to take a shot at the snake. And there is going to be a chance of killing the snake. Yes! Take that snake. And we got a healer here. Uh, the thing is, I wait. What? what? What's up with you? Okay. We want to get a little closer, but also shoot the snake in the back. I guess. The other option is uh, not very tempting. Take that snake. Oh, come again. Okay. So, the shotgunner. Actually, we might be able to go for a sub two. Does it work? Oh man. Apparently it will work. Two to three damage. Oh, actually. Does it? But is it like a... Does it go through armor? Because this guy seemed to have armor. Fuck me. Hostile, that was two damage. And it went through whatever uh, symbol he had, which was most likely armor. Okay. Okay, let, let's just shoot at the snake. I, I don't want to crit him, though. Yeah. Uh, there's a mechanic in this game that uh, you're rewarded for capturing uh, enemies. And I guess we want to do that. Let me try again. Term no. So this is where we got the heal. Uh, let's capture him. Subdued the hostile. Yeah. It's our snake now. Well, what's with this picture? Wait. Uh, question Whoa, is, does the poison go away? I'm reading a massive Illyrium core in the next room. It, it, it's losing stability fast. Uh, I, I, Secure and okay. contain that core before it takes out the whole block. Check your file. None of us should go home in bags. Okay. Sure. You guys are so bossy. Delayed scan. Last unit through this entrance is marked until the end of the encounter. Agent damaged likely. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. Wait, what? Uh, 
Okay, that, that seems pretty okay. Wait, I don't have any charges right. Fuck. Okay. I, I guess we're going this way. Terminal. Let's go Verge. Uh, terminal and Cherub. Let's go. I'm ready to go! Reaching. Wait, you're just gonna cover in the air? All mission? Okay, the, the Python could die. Uh, this is actually quite interesting here. We got one aggressive, uh, one alert, and one surprised. So, surprised means he's gonna be like, Oh no, they surprised me, so he's not gonna act. He, he just lets us act and not gonna act. And just one, gonna wait for his turn. Alert means he's gonna do something uh, defensive uh, after, after we come in. And uh, the aggressive will shoot us in the face. So this guy's dead. one we want to take out. We got a better chance to hit on this snake. Oh, that was a pretty bad hit. 3 to 5 on the snake. I like that. There not seem to be a lot of people here. Actually, it said that there are 3 people in here. Wait, 1 damage critical? Oh! Target spotted. Stop it. ASAP. I got how much time to stop it though? Oh no, this guy's gonna act super quick. I don't can't really do wait what? Oh there are three people in here? And this guy's gonna act. But I can't reach him. Damn. The best I can do is get close to the snake and shoot him in the face, right? Or can go for this muton. Um, I think that might be a better choice. We already have basically a uh, maximum chance to hit. And I, we gotta take it. I'm not sure what else can I do. What? Uh, maybe we gotta try that some other time. Actually, this is a good time to try out team up. Can we team up terminal? Uh, what? Wait, what What did it do? <laughs> Godmother coordinates with target unimpaired ally, moving uh, their turn next to... Turn next. On the timeline, the team up ability is shared between the entire squad and can only be used one permission. Oh, I need to select the ally, okay. Can Cherub do it? Because I, I suppose Cherub would make the most sense, but I don't think he can uh, do enough. Okay, let's team up Terminal. So she's gonna act next, but our move is simply gonna be. I don't think the snake can shoot at me. Okay. Let's come over here. Shoot this guy in the face. I mean, this is pretty much the best shot I'm gonna get. He doesn't like it. Now, terminal. I actually kind of have a, a trouble here. Bit of a bit of problem. I would like a heal, though. I would like to heal Cherub, but I think we need to get close to this, uh... How we do do this? This is- this only matters if we go for max roll. Wait. Can I get more information about this guy? I don't think we can. Hmm. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem to be that the gold thingy is is armor. So now we have a decent shot. That was four damage. He had one armor. 
and uh, it still didn't matter. Okay, 84. Uh, we can't make him... Stunned. One turn. It doesn't matter. I just kill him. Yeah, take that, Newton. Oh, Snake is coming out. I didn't order Snake. Oh my god, poisoned. Maybe we're gonna go for a heal here. So we're just gonna punch this guy in the ass. There's not much we can do here. Thought I had it. Okay. What? Yeah, she is wounded. So maybe she should get the heal. Oh man. But also you can't really put guys back in the turn order. I want her to act and Verge is gonna go for the kill. But someone's gotta pick that up, right? Alright, let's go. Maybe she can come back for the heals. Uh, let's pick that up. What the fuck? Holy crap, his muscles have muscles. Uh, hey, Muton. Wait, how many? Oh, okay. This Muton is gonna act very slowly. Uh, not at all. Uh, bye bye. Let's just go for a heal on uh, Godmother. Yeah, heal for you. Does this? And poison effects. So, this heals for four. Uh, with one turn cooldown. Uh, grants 20 defense and cleanses burning acid and poison. Holy shit. Terminal can target uh, themselves with uh, safeguard. Okay, this is just really good. I don't know where to go though. Do I wanna just group up with the team? Hey boys, what's up? Uh, let's just take out the snake. Yeah, this is gonna be a 100% chance to hit for two, two and three. Hostile is under arrest. <laughs> well, with a concussion, that is. Ah, <coughs> uh, we really got him. Okay, what happened here? So Godmother got wounded, and Cherub got wounded, and that's it. And good mission. There's a 60% chance to get 20 intel. Rating excellent. That's right. Anyone who doubted me, fuck off. I'm I'm the best cop. Best cop. That's right. We did this for 35 bucks. Damn right. 35 bucks and 20 intel. Uh, whatever that is. Let anyone... Uh, everyone should know it's like 2040, March 1, and I'm a fucking badass. Continue. Grey Phoenix is after large quantities of Illyrium. Why do they need that much power? Illyrium access would allow them to refine an explosive powerful enough to kill Mayor Nightingale. What? Grey Phoenix has the means. Find out if they had the motive. What the fuck, Yuse? So, your big, uh, logic is that they're gonna steal all the energy, Illyrium, just so they can construct a big bomb to kill one person? Really? I don't think killing that one person is as difficult as you, you think it is. All right. <sighs> Assembly. New recruits. Yes. So now I have a pretty good idea who is in my team. Uncover hidden operation in Old Town. That's gonna happen in five turns. Ooh. So this is the entire team, uh, except this guy, the hoodie man. I think he's called Whisper. The director convinced the city council we're too understaffed to be effective. This means we can bring more agents to City 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. Alright. Oh my god, we need more baldies. Close quarters, high mobility, but we don't really know. 
uh, what weapons they got. Because it kind of matters. Do they have a pistol? Do they have a shotgun? That matters a lot. It does. Oh, high damage. Cover destruction. Ooh, I like this fish. Okay. 8 health, 14 mobility, 75 aim. So, moves fast. Okay, okay health. Agent punches an enemy and inflicts one of several status effects. The effect is either disarm, that sounds pretty good. Disorient, that sounds pretty good. Stun, wow. Or root. This attack cannot miss and will trigger momentum. Uh, what is momentum? I, I suppose if I would have uh, one uh, uh, critique, it would be, you know, I, I really shouldn't be expected to just go uh, fucking online. Just like, oh, what is this basic thing does? Or how does how does basic thing work? No. I, I don't want to go online necessarily, just to know that. Uh, Zephyr blitzes toward the enemy and melee attacks them after the breach. This will position Zephyr near the enemy. If the enemy was alert, the alert breach action is cancelled. Zephyr seems okay. Move fast or die slow. High damage, cover destruction, surrender or don't, I'm fine with either, are you? So he's fast, he shoots fairly accurately. Agent crash, uh, charges to a target and smashes down with a bow fist, a chance to disorient, stun. It's a chance though. Or render unconscious. I really hate this when the games do this. What is the chance? Is it 0% chance? I don't fucking know. Is it 90% chance? Is it like 10% chance? Like. A chance is completely meaningless. What is the chance that I I, I can win the lot at zero percent chance? I mean that kind of matters. Higher rage improves the chance to apply the disabling effect. Okay, higher rage raises the chance of applying disabling effects with melee attacks, but also increases the risk of going berserk. Rage can be increased manually or by taking damage. Uh, burst through the uh, door. Breach point with a chance to panic nearby enemies. Panic chance increases with rage. Okay, so he's like a, a barbarian. <laughs> uh, psionics ally buff. I think at this point we might just want some heavy lifters. Agent psionically swaps position with the targeted enemy and ally. Does not automatically enter. This guy. He's pretty weak. Agent launches a psionic uh, blast that this Okay, he seems like a wimp. Okay, I think we need more baldies on the team. I, as much as I like the idea of this uh, uh, barbarian, we need more baldies on the team. If only I could do a baldy only team. I'm like, this is pretty uh, good. A very, very balanced uh, with focus on mobility. Zephyr, you made it. Yeah. You grab a locker? Yep. Have everything you need? Yeah. Good talk. No. Okay. Uh, sure. So what we got here? Agent abilities? No, tint armor? No, I don't care. Okay, let's go. Wait. So, android personnel is still, uh, in progress. I'm authorizing Chimera Squad for special operations. Some ops provide useful resources for the squad. Keep an eye out for these opportunities. So... Three turns, I got 75 bucks for uh, having one of my uh, guys sit out the mission. Uh, one of my guys can go for a leg day, embed with uh, 31 PD for a short time. In return, gain officers to canvas neighborhoods on our behalf. So, interesting. So, 60 intel and uh, 20 Illyrium. This is also a pretty good indication of how uh, valuable the game thinks each uh, resource is. So it seems like uh, their ratio is 5 uh, to 4. Actually, that that, <laughs> that wasn't quite correct. So this is like a 3 to 1. And this is like, well, let's just say like 4 to 1. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I'm lazy. So Illyrium is the most valuable by, uh, quite clearly. And Intel is quite useful. Glad, uh, glad hand ending. Okay, do we want anyone on this? And who should be it? Should it be Cherub? He's on the APC. Uh, s Maybe a good question would be, 
Do I need to mission, heal need to people? Maintain your skills, physical and mental. Training is the place to do it. It's also where you can adapt to any lasting wounds received in the field. So don't let those wounds linger. You'll pay for them in the long term. Okay. Uh, select the unit. <clears throat> uh, Cherub. He gets two HP for spending two turns. Two HP seems pretty fucking good. Do I value that over the big bucks? Oh man. Ah, uh, let's do it. Okay. I guess this is not worth it if you don't plan on we using know the unit. Phoenix can quickly move personnel throughout City Thirty One. Okay, I Once know that. Once you learn how, we'll know how to wall them off. In the city. Um, uh, don't get your hopes up. All right, you're gonna come with us, Android personnel. But that's all. I don't have access to anything else. So I suppose that I have to precede anything, uh, any other option, and uh, I know for a fact that you cannot take less than four on Our a mission. Temporary field office oh has shit! All the basics: weapons, comms, and ammunition. Oh, this Supply is just. Supply is where we request everything else. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. Oh, well, that's the same thing. As long as I can buy stuff, it's mine. But we can't. Really, I can't really buy that many stuff, right? <laughs> we can get a sweet deal on combat grade androids. I know. Everyone hates them. Okay. Oh shit! What we got here? Uh, auto key card grants breach access through a security door. An auto key card uses a, a brute force attack to push through any security door. In interesting. Breaching charge. Good question. Oh fuck, what do we do? XCOM's most wanted? Okay. So we get 30 lightning for that. Which is apparently more valuable than money. Uh, yeah. So apparently, this is the most valuable one. Uh, providing tech support. Chimera Squad. I'm Commissioner Maloof of 31 PD. To be blunt, I don't give a chrysalid's ass about the politics. I'm glad you're in the city. Oh, Rewon yeah. PD was stretched thin before the mayor's death. There are gaps to fill, and that's where you come in. When your agents can handle a situation better than my officers, I'll send the details your way. If the city council has a problem with that, I'll take the heat. They can't afford to fire me. I look forward to working with you. I think it's pretty obvious that this city needs uh, all the manpower it can get because our first job was Hey, criminal underworld, that's your job. Just, you know, just everybody. Literally everybody. Your job. Just get rid of them, okay? You know, start with the... I don't know. I, they don't even know how they're called. They just very loosely you know, just describe them to me. And it's my job. We gotta get 30 Illyrium here. Alright, I'm good. Uh, okay. So, well, we got Pangolin Gauntlets? What the fuck is that? Oh, shit. We did use up the Breach item. Holy fuck. It's gone. Fuck. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, no, no, no. Not, not necessarily, though. Make items available? Yeah? Breaching charge! Woo! Okay, that's kind of what I expected. I mean, it kind of depends, but it does seem like the, the items are pretty pricey. Okay, who sucks at fighting? What is this pangolin gauntlet? Three to four damage. Okay. Okay, this seems pretty bad. So, you're gonna get the breaching charge. I, I'm not exactly sure if that's how it works, but whatever. Okay. Uh, maybe we don't want to start right now, but we want to uh, go and check out this. Breaching charge, we got one of these. Auto key card, I guess we can get one of these. Cease fire grenade. Uh, this clever design from XCOM Engineering Corp uh, disables all firearms in large radius, making cease fire grenades a must have for reclamation agents. Persistent rumors suggest the blast core of the MK1 cooler heads contain a miniaturized codex that self immolates on impact. Okay, 
flashbang grenade. So this disables guns when they have guns. This seems okay. And it's only 35 bucks. Flashbang grenade. Disorients hostile targets in a large radius. You don't really know what disorient is. Friendly units and squad members are unaffected. Really? So you can throw this uh, next to your guys and they're gonna be fine. Interesting. Medikit. Medikit can restore 4 HP to a single agent. Can also be used to remove burning, acid, and poison effects. Carrying a Medikit grants immunity to poison. Really? That seems pretty okay. But I guess the idea here is... Boosted defense for all units in the affected area. Well, we can only take two items. Tracer rounds. Or five aim to the agent. Trank rounds. If the target would be killed, they will be rendered unconscious instead. Unconscious units are captured at the end of the, each mission. So this is a good investment to uh, capture more enemies. Okay, let's get one of these. Let's get one of the medikits. Let's get one of the flashbangs, and let's get one of the ceasefire grenades. <laughs> hey, I'm financially res responsible, okay? I just bought everything. We're gonna- we're gonna try that, okay? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, get the, the lightning. Send the APC. But, we're gonna have a little bit of everything. You're gonna get... Ah, uh, fuck. You're gonna get the flashbang grenade, okay? That's the one you're gonna get. Uh, you are already a healer, so you're definitely not getting the medikit. Also, you don't deal a shit ton of damage. I'm not sure about you. Godmother, you're gonna get the crank rounds. Oh, shit. We can only take one utility item and one breach item. <gasps> Didn't know that. Okay. So I guess this, this is all gonna be used. Uh, I guess it's gonna be an easy choice. And you take the ceasefire grenade, okay? We're just gonna have a little bit of everything. Alright. Looks good. Let's go. I just wanna uh, increase our chances of capturing them. And maybe we should not lose. <laughs> that sounds good. Target device is active. Stop it as soon as you're able. If you think there is method to my madness, you're fooling yourself, by the way. Uh, ready for anything. All units uh, through this entrance get 50 dodge uh, for one turn. Oh, that's good. It's one round. I guess round and turn is kind of the same thing. Okay, uh, so we want to start with dealing damage and we want to follow up with... I don't know what that guy really does. Okay. Let's go it like that. Breach! 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 No. Okay, we got a snake here. We deal 46 damage, so that means 66% chance of uh, about 2 out of 3 of killing this guy. Uh, the next up, we got a uh, Muton. Uh, he's not gonna go down, he's gonna take 2 shots for sure. We got a Hitman here. Oh my god, he also has. Uh, 7 HP with 2 armor. And it, it and then this is armor for sure because only 5 blocks uh, are highlighting. So, not a muton with armor. So, it seems like killing the snake is the best choice. So, we're gonna take that. Legionnaire. And also, this is aggressive. So he's gonna shoot us. But we can't really get him, though. The chance of getting him is low. I might just kill the Legionnaire in the back. And take the possibility of getting hit. Breach fire. So this only has... 1 out of 3 of killing the Legionnaire. Because we need to rule a 5. And also, it's less than a 1 out of 3. It's 80% of a 1 out of 3. <laughs> so, that's not as great. 
but I think we gotta take that chance. At least we have a chance of killing that. Ah, uh, the fuck is this? You have the fisticuffs, man? Uh, Zephyr blitzes toward an enemy. Amelia attacks them after the breach. This will position Zephyr near the enemy. If the enemy was alert, their alert breach action is cancelled. So these are just surprised. Uh, it's, it's a very fearless advance, Zephyr, here. Uh, I guess we can punch the, the guy, the legionary in the back, Mr. Fishman. I don't know, man. I, I didn't realize this guy was melee. <laughs> I'm not sure about this now. Obviously, we can't kill the, the trooper, I guess. So, I guess we're gonna fearless advance to the Vuitton. What? Oh, shit, we got shot. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, that was only four damage. I suppose the advantage that I have the we deal damage Turn regardless of their cover. Okay, this guy is gonna come right away as well. Wait, this, is this gonna be a, a one? One time encounter? It seems like it. I think we wanna move up, Zephyr. Okay, team up. Team up Zephyr. Okay. Now. Actually, I should have uh, thought about uh, the options before I did that, but... It does seem like we're gonna need, need him uh, quite a bit. The trooper is gonna come next. That's why it's quite important to Cover move me. in close and just try to kill this guy. It's not 100%, but I guess we have some cover. And we have a chance to crit him as well. Oh, he's unconscious. Sleepy time for you now. What the fuck we have here? Crippling blow. Four damage. So, only, only punching for this guy. Oh shit, can he? What? Oh, he's not the one who got hit. Okay, Verge. Where is Verge, though? Verge! Oh, yeah, Verge is farther away. Okay. But that means we might want to move on on this Muton. But it, we seem to be ignore. Uh, it's actually 4 to 5 damage. Ah, uh, Fisticuffs. Okay, fine. Oh, weapon disabled! I suppose that's the advantage of this. Oh, wait, what? He can move after? Uh, I don't know, man. There's not much point to that, but I suppose we might want to move into the range of the other guy. Oh, shit, we can, we can move toward the objective. Oh my god, we, we just about can do it. Uh, I don't know. I want to be in a more central location, so whoever we have to deal with, we can just go in for fisticuffs. Unfortunately, in order to take out this guy, we have to expose ourselves a little bit. Uh, I don't love it. The hitman will not go down, no matter what. Oh, we can throw a ceasefire grenade? Okay, how about we heal... Verge? He'll be fine. Appreciate it. Then... We make this guy... Not being able to fire? Doesn't look like a, a fisticuffs guy to me. Oh, one action available? Oh shit. I did two actions already, but... Uh, oh, I don't want to blow that up. Uh, 
Did I hit my own? No, no, no. That was Tracking no friendly fire. Oh shit, that's smart. He just pulled out another weapon. No. What if he just punched me in the face? Oh, this will trigger the overwatch. Uh, how about this? Oh my god! What about Fisticuffs guy? No, he will, will get busted. Okay, I guess we're just gonna move in and deal with the objective then. Okay, interact. Interact with it. Okay, maybe preparation. Okay. Let's just stun him and go for a shot. I'm not exactly sure about this stun. It doesn't seem to mean what I, I kind of want it to mean. Okay. Well, one for sure, his overwatch is disabled. Oh yeah, we're gonna punch him in the face, right? Hey, what's up? Okay, that was just one one round mission. We uh, got 60% chance of getting 20 intel, and uh, Verge is wounded. Unfortunately, he got shot on the way in. But other than that, it was excellent. Can can it be better than excellent? I don't know. Does it even matter? It's already excellent. Yeah, take the car home. Woo! Okay. What? <laughs> no matter what I do, people just get more crazy. <laughs> okay, sure. Well, I guess we got some Illyrium for that. Oh, assembly complete. Android personnel. We can get robots. Reports confirm significant unrest in City 31. Without the city's trust, Reclamation cannot investigate effectively. Anything we can do about that? Results can earn back the public trust. We're here to keep the city safe. So there's no better way than doing just that. That's bullshit. That's not how it works. It's basically the media <laughs> that defines how how safe the, the people feel. Of course, our actions kind of matter. But still. Anyway, guys, uh, that's for now. Thanks for watching again. See you next time.